welcome to Real World AIP, the YouTube channel dedicated to helping you implement the autoimmune protocol. I'm Stacy, and today I'm making sardines. I get a lot of questions about, you know, what do you do with sardines? How do you make them taste good? I'm gonna actually show you how to make them from scratch as well as what to do with them out of the can. I like the, um, the Season brand. This is a BPA free can, they're sustainable. And I'm also gonna show you what to do with whole sardines. Like I bought these frozen. I thawed them overnight. And once these are all cooked up, they'll be on equal par with these. And then I'm gonna show you how to make them delicious. First thing is first, these do not come cleaned. We're going to have to do a little prep work. The first thing I'm just going to do is get these out of here and rinse them. Um, these do have scales on them still, so I'm also just kind of going like this, getting all these little scales off. Yeah, all scaled. Now we're just going to have to do a little bit of dirty work here. Off with their heads and the little tails. Cut off the tail. And then I'm going to cut off the head right where the scale is. All right, so we got that done. Now we need to gut them. You'll see a little hole here. I started that little hole. And I go up to the top. And that's kind of where all the stuff is. I just kind of... Cut right from their little fish butthole. And then you can just kind of get right under there and it all comes right out, scoops right out. And just continue on till you've got it all over your little sardines. I feel like a cave woman when I do this. And I'm just rinsing out all that yuckiness. I've got my thing clean. All right, so into my Instant Pot, I'm going to add this rack that it came with right here on the bottom like so. And then I'm just gonna pour in a cup and a half or so of water. And then I'm gonna lay the sardines on the rack. Pack them in there like a can of sardines. And then I'm just gonna put the lid on. Seal the pressure valve. I'm going to set this to manual 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to bleach my sink. <laughs> and we're done. Just going to release this uh, pressure valve. Quick release. Hmm. Let's get these on the plate. This middle bone comes right out. Now it's not quite soft enough to eat. I just remove this one big center bone and any little pieces of hairy bones that really stick out at me. I'm just gonna work my way in the middle of each of these. Just pull apart. Look at that. It's like the cartoons when the cat eats the fish and leaves the bone behind. All right, here we go. So I got all these big middle bones out. What we have left is absolutely delicious, fresh sardine meat. I'm going to salt this up. Just some good quality sea salt. If I had fresh oregano, I would use it. I don't, so I'm gonna use some dried oregano. I love oregano on sardines. I just love it. I picked up this, well I didn't pick it up, I ordered it. <laughs> Balsamic uh, vinegar from Vital Choice. I don't have any lemons or I would put lemon juice. Lemon juice would be amazing on this, but we need some sort of acidity. So I'll just use some of this good quality balsamic. For that brightness that lemon would give it, I'm going to use some dehydrated lemon peel that I made. And I'll put a link to the video where I show you how you can make your own dehydrated organic lemon peel and all kinds of other things in the dehydrator. Of course, we need some good quality extra virgin olive oil on here. You can really go to town with that, add as much as you'd like. This is fresh minced garlic. 
I keep a jar of Freshman's garlic in the fridge at all times because I love it. I'll just throw it on salads just like that. I'm gonna go pretty generous with that garlic. Only other thing I'm gonna add is some capers. I'm going to mince these. These are the big old capote capers. So if you didn't have your garlic already minced, you could mince that, those together. If you were using fresh oregano, you could mince that along with your capers and your garlic. Get that minced caper in there. And then I'm just gonna toss that up. You could do the same exact thing with canned sardines. Just open up a couple cans of sardines. Add your extra virgin olive oil, garlic, capers, oregano, and lemon juice or balsamic. Yum. And serving suggestion. I like to cut off the end of the romaine and just use the leaves as wraps. Or you can use a coconut wrap or some AIP bread. Another way I like to serve it is over a bed of radicchio. I'm gonna do the best of both worlds today. Yum! I'm gonna eat the rainbow today, guys. This to me is honestly such an amazing, delicious treat. Like, I'm kid not kidding you guys. I actually crave this sometimes. Like I need to make sardines because I crave this combination of like salt and olive oil and capers and like fresh garlic. I just, I crave it. If you make it, you'll crave it too. I would love to hear in the comments below your favorite way to eat sardines. If you have any other um, cooking tips too, I'd love to hear about it. If you want more exclusive recipes that never hit YouTube, check me out on Patreon. I have over a dozen recipes up there. Some of my favorites would be my new Mato sauce. If you are a patron already, make it. You will love it. I can't say enough good things about it. I eat it every day. I'm obsessed with it. I have one, two, three, four, five, six jars in the freezer and one in the fridge. There's a link below to that. Subscribe if you haven't. I put out new videos every Thursday. I hope to see you soon and until then, be healthy.